I'll pass it over to Marvin. Give me a chance to uh, put you on, uh, put it on speaker view so that when uh, it's recording, it sees you. There you go. Marvin, take over and give us a report on how it's going at OCDC. Awesome, Carl. Thank you. Good to see everyone here today. Um, great report from you, Eric, and we're thankful for your health and what God's doing in your life. Um, just to circle back a little bit to, to Bob, um, it came as quite a shock to me. Uh, I think, interestingly enough, Bob served right to the end, and Tom, you would know this as you served together. Um, uh, Bob passed away on Saturday, and on Sunday, he and Tom were to be in to, uh, to lead Catholic Mass and connect with the inmates and um, just continue their excellent work that they've been doing here. So I was, uh, I was quite shocked at that, but very pleased that, um, that Bob was able to contribute right to the very end, uh, quite literally. And so, um, you know, certainly his, uh, his eternal reward will be given him. And, and Tom, um, appreciate all the support that you've been offering and connecting with and just the incredible work that you continue to do and, and um, look forward to having you continue in whatever capacity you feel you're able to and uh, look forward to that. I think, I think as I was, Carl, I was able to make it on Thursday night to sort of represent uh, Superintendent Riche and the staff here at OCDC. Uh, one of the things that Beverly mentioned to me um, was just, uh, and I, I valued this because I, I believe Bob had his, his uh, priorities uh, in the right place and just how, you know, as, as followers of Christ, we're called to, to connection with him, relationship with him. And, and there's so many other things that sort of uh, expand from that. But Beverly said that, that Bob was just an incredible husband and they had the best marriage. Um, you know, so that, that really sums it up, right? Like he, um, he was faithful in what, what he was called to do and had his priorities. I thank Beverly too for releasing him. Thank the, the children for releasing. Um, you know, I, I thought it was closer to 25 years. I thought I, thought I saw a letter here, Carl, that indicated 25 years of incredible service, but maybe it is from 2001. Regardless, uh, it's a very long period of time. And, um, you know, along with that comes family sacrifice. So it just um, so appreciative of, of all of that. Um, what's going on at OCDC? Well, a couple of things that are coming up that, uh, that we're planning for and prepping for uh, September 13th is, is a staff appreciation barbecue. And so that's going to be held on a Tuesday. And um, we, you know, we're expecting a lot of people uh, to be here that day. We've actually asked some of the officers to made it known that if they're able to come that day, they're not working, they want to pop in to, uh, to be here as well. Um, along with that, though, I guess I'd throw it out to this group. Uh, as a bit of an ask, um, if there's anyone that had something that they could donate as far as a, some sort of gift for the officers, we're going to have a few draws that day. It'll be random. Uh, but if there's something that, uh, that you were able to make available through the way of a donation, uh, you know, I'd, I'd, I don't have anything in mind necessarily other than that someone has already donated, for example, um, senators tickets. Uh, for the officers to to have a night out or whatever. So, if there's anything, please connect with me. And um, you know, just it's a little. Uh, well, I guess it's two weeks tomorrow is when the uh, the actual barbecue would be. So, if you could reach out to me as soon as you can, uh, if you're interested. And of course, there's never any pressure. Uh, just something if it um, if you're able to. Um, we have finally booked um, a dedication moment for the new worship center. So that is gonna be November 2nd, um, inviting people uh, from different faiths uh, to be represented there that day. Um, we've invited some uh, high level officials from the province 
And um, I've even heard that maybe the minister, uh, the solicitor general might be available that day. So um, not sure. It wasn't a promise. It was a possibility. So um, very much looking forward to that day to recognize that that room as a uh, sacred worship space. And, um, you know, as we continue to use it, um, that, um, you know, there would be a respect for that room and for that space, and that we'd be able to use it freely as needed and required for uh, different faiths. And as, as Tom and Bob have done so, uh, so well and have used it uh, probably most so far um, since it opened, um, I'm going to say in, in May or June. So, um, so that's what's happening here. We're continuing to pray for, pray for new officers. That's always a, a thing. We've, we've had quite a few new officers. There's a, a class that started on, uh, on last Monday of uh, 13, I believe. And um, it, it's certainly a highlight for me. I think I've mentioned this before, a highlight for me to be able to go and, and meet them, um, introduce myself, uh, have half an hour with them and just sort of share what, what chaplaincy is all about, my role. Um, you know, I, I take a fair amount of time and highlight the fact that volunteers, chaplaincy volunteers, um, you know, sort of fall under that and what to expect, what to look for, how to receive, our volunteers and how to treat our volunteers. So, um, you know, that's always a bit of a prayer thing with regard to new officers and uh, certainly finding favor with them. So those are a few things that are, that are happening. Um, we're looking at having another orientation session toward the end of September. And I know there's many of you that are uh, anxious, looking forward to um, having that. And so we have a very lengthy list of people that um, we're going to try to process sort of in order of, of um, when your application came in. So it, uh, we're getting there. Uh, we didn't have any over the summer really because of vacation and security managers, volunteer coordinator not being available, et cetera, et cetera. And I was away myself too. So um, looking forward to getting that up and running as well and continuing that over the fall season. So thank you once again to everyone for your prayers and your commitment. Thanks so much, Marvin. And uh, it's great to be caught up. That's, uh, that's good to, to hear. So thank you for, for sharing.